So last year, one of the best packs to open at the beginning of the year was the Pro Fantasy Pack. And it's back in the game at the beginning of the year. So it's time to test things out, right? And last year, from what I remember, people were actually spending coins on these packs, which... Uh, don't recommend you guys to do that, okay? Uh, don't use your coins on bags. But yeah, people are making coins off of it because the pulls are pretty good. Gold players have value at the beginning of the year too, right? So like, well, everything has value at the beginning of the year. So it's like not super, super risky to open these, but still don't recommend you guys to do it. But anyways, gonna test things out here. The Pro Fantasy Pack. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Four silver or better players, one gold or better player. Yeah, I don't know. But look at the pack odds though. 26% for an elite. So we should be getting at least, at least at once every four packs, right? We'll, we'll see how it goes. It could be bad. It could be good. We'll have to wait and see. As always, if you guys enjoyed the videos, hit that like button. It really helps me out. It really helps the video when you guys smash that like button. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video in the comments. Let me know if you guys have tested out the Pro Fantasy Packs or uh, whatever packs you guys have opened. And of course, let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I should have a gameplay for you guys later today too, so... Hopefully, uh, you guys stay tuned for that. But hopping into things here, first round. So, it's a bunch of silvers. Um, I don't know what the move is right now for silvers. I'm assuming you could pull some of the uh, the rookies out of there, too. Which, uh, if you get the high rookies, that will be very good. But we'll have to wait and see here. Second round of this pack. We get a rookie card. Hopefully, a bi big one. Ah, McCorkle. Good old McCorkle. I'll take him for now. So, that was a bad pack. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, we'll see if these are good, you know. I don't remember what was exactly in the Pro Fantasy Pack last year. Also, there's all Pro Packs too, right? That we'll get at some point. I'll take power-ups right now. I'll definitely take some power-ups. We got the rookies. Yeah, I'll take those. All right. Interesting first round. Second round here. We start off with a 72. Hitting it from the back, we get a core rookie. Odafe. And then... Yeah, nothing else. <laughs> this time we got all 72s in the gold round. What's up? What's up with that? Are we going to get all 73s in the next pack? I'm not spending coins on these. I don't know. I don't know if that's a move. <laughs> oh, Ronnie Stanley power up. I actually need that card, so that works out very nicely. And then... Do I even take this rookie? Probably not. The silver rookies probably don't matter as much, so... Just take those guys. All right. 77. So that's nice. 76... I don't... Hmm. Okay. What sucks is you can only pick one of those gold players, right? So, I don't know. So far, interesting. Not good. <laughs> so far, not good at all. But, come on. My pack luck was good. Where's the pack luck? Where's the day one pack luck I was getting? We need it on these pro fantasy packs here. Come on, man. Getting a gold and a silver is nice. All right. Gold round here. Still have yet to see an elite card. We get a 78 there, though. And then a big power up here. Ooh, this should be interesting. Oh, wait. Not, it's not that big. It's just a 70 overall power up. Chase Young, though. So Chase Young's our best pull so far. He's like 8K right now, which still, if you bought this with coins, you would be losing coins. So, I don't know. So far, not looking good for these pro fantasy packs right now. But if we get that one big pull, I guess it kind of like evens things out. But so far, would not recommend you guys to open these, which... Honestly, I don't really recommend you guys open any sort of packs. So, grid irons, maybe. J just at the beginning of the year. Just because, again, everything kind of has some value. But only getting to pick one gold here. Finally get an elite, though. Nice. Bryce Callahan. Hell yeah, dude. That actually, I think getting an elite pull makes us even here. I'm going to check things out. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure pulling an elite is going to make us even. So, we'll see. Maybe not. I don't know. 81? 81s are going for 11k. Actually, we're still losing coins, technically. So, you gotta sell everything. Yeah, um, I almost don't want to open any more without the, the trend is going right now. Even pulling an elite, we're still losing coins. It's not ideal. If you could pick two of them, that would have been pretty good. But only being able to pick one, it's kind of a problem. But who knows? I'm sure there's gonna be someone in the comments, dude, being like, Oh, I pulled an 88 overall. These packs are juiced. Yeah, they ain't looking good for me. I think the the juice packs are the grid irons for me right now. Still, those that pack opening was insane. If you guys haven't seen that yet, the the thousand dollar pack opening, go check that out. That was actually wild. How good that was. So, this one ain't looking good. We need to see some more elites out here. Well, uh, I'll keep opening these though. I don't know how many I'm gonna go down to. I think because like ten is still like it could just heat up at any point, right? And just get absolutely insane pulls, but. 
Yeah, I think uh, as of now, I'm like, e probably, probably wouldn't recommend these. Probably wouldn't recommend, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, guys. You know what I might actually do that actually would be worth it? The get a golds. If you guys want to see a get a gold pack video, 100 get a golds, let me know. You can do that tomorrow for sure. So I'm down to test out the packs at the beginning of the year anyway. So uh, let me know, guys. 100 get a golds. We have to clear out some buyer space. <laughs> Got too much. Ooh, Devontae Smith. Okay. That, I think, is still a 10K card. I'm pretty sure these high overall, uh, gold, high gold rookies are like 10k right now because of the set, the Devontae Smith set, which that might be the video today. I unlocked him. I got him. So that might be the video today, but I'm pretty sure these uh, rookies are about 10k. So it's a good pull, but if you open that with coins, uh, you're losing. <laughs> you're still losing out. I'm pretty sure. So don't do it. Just don't. The, the lesson here, the lesson in this video, just, just don't open this. Would not recommend. Wouldn't recommend at all. In before 88 overall. <laughs> Where is it? We've pulled one elite. I've only seen one elite pop up right now. It's crazy. I ain't feeling good about these. The fact that we've only gotten one elite and it still would have lost us coins is uh, kind of a problem with these packs, right? That's kind of a problem. That's a pretty good start though. Golds? I think those golds are like one or two thousand coins right now. And maybe a few few thousand not exactly sure i haven't really the prices are so weird right now because like it's early access people have you know run out of hours and they're not like doing like the ea access glitch or anything like that so the market's a little weird right at the beginning of the year it's a little all over the place so i don't know i i have no idea how much these guys are going for some of these guys weren't even on the market when i was trying to sell them so it's really hard to tell uh what um like what price these guys have been going for but i'm pretty sure golds have been like a few thousand coins right now so getting the gold in the first round and then getting something good in the second round maybe will get you your coins back but right now i mean there we go we get another elite finally and it's an 81 it's not gonna pay for the pack if you open this with coins i'm not opening these with coins right now but if you guys did you're losing out so yeah don't I'm going to keep saying in the video until it's over, but uh, don't. Just don't. So we're 12 packs in, and we've only seen two elites. So kind of like under the odds of what we should be getting. Of course, like it doesn't mean like because it's 26% doesn't mean like every four packs you're going to get an elite. Like it doesn't work like that. It's 26% on every single pack you open. But like still, we're like odds wise, we're under where we should be. So not good. <laughs> the entire video, I'm just saying it's not good, guys. It ain't good. The Roger Saffold is like 13k. I just looked, which I guess if you sell everything, you would uh, maybe be even on this pack. But this pack is just bad. 72. That's just the bad. That, that's just burning coins right there. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll open up to how many should I open up to? Like 6,000 points left. That's so much. <laughs> I don't know if I want to even go that far at this point. It's is uh yeah. I don't know what else to say. It's just... This is bad. This is just bad. Marlon Humphrey power-up, though. That might be a little nice. I will be taking that. Thank you, sir. If you can pull some... Ni the, the thing is, though, like, if you're pulling for power-ups, why would you even mess with these? Just open the get of golds for, like, the good power-ups. So, there's really no reason to open these. I thought they would be juice. L was it last year or two years ago? I think it was last year. They were, like, pretty good at the beginning of the year, right? To the point where, like, you, like I said, mentioned at the beginning of the video, you could actually profit off of this using coins, like, pretty often. I don't think we've profited. If we were to spend coins, we would have not profit on any of these packs right now. Just burning coins. If if I was opening these with coins, I'm just burning points right now, which is arguably worse. I might just have to stop myself here. You know what we could do? We go open the weekly fantasy pack. I might feel better just opening that. At least. At least that's kind of worth it, you know? <laughs> this is just making me feel bad, dude. Ugh. Ugh. This is like bringing me back to last year's pack odds. Ugh. Disgusting, dude. Ugh. Gross. Can we at least get another elite? That'd be cool. All right. I'll open until we get another elite. How about that? <laughs> that could be our entire point stubs. Point stubs, point total at, at the rate we're going right now. Ugh. That might, that might be a bad decision. 
really bad decision. Or we could just pull it right here. Or we could just pull it right here. Or we could... Okay. I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see how the all pro packs are. I thought the pros were like the good ones though. I'm like second guessing myself about that now. I'm pretty sure they were both good last year. I don't know. At this point, like whatever. Back to the grid irons, you know. Actually, I'm not gonna really open any packs. What am I saying? I'm gonna open the get a gold. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, I'll open uh, whatever other packs, whatever brand new packs that come out. I don't know if they're gonna drop anything until Friday when we get the Superstar promo. So, yeah, get a, after the get a gold tomorrow. I need to clear my binder space out because I'm, I'm right at the binder limit again. And I every single year I go through like the stage of just not clearing out my binder. And it's like, it's so many coins I'm losing out on. I got to make sure to do that this year. So it just takes too much time. <laughs> I hate doing it. Oh, this, this is making me feel bad. This I feel like sick inside opening these right now. These are awful. I thought like 26%, man, we're, we're going to be, you know, at least getting some, some you know, decent amount of elites. I got to stop here. I, I said I was going to open until I get an elite. I think I need to just stop. This is bad. How many packs is this? I've opened 20 of these pro fantasy packs, and I have gotten two elites. Two 81 overall elites. Don't open these. Don't open the pro fantasy packs, okay? Just don't spend money on this game. Don't do it. All right, it's a mistake. Let the YouTubers, let us YouTubers be stupid and spend money on this game, okay? Don't, just live through us. Don't open these packs. I'm sure someone's gonna tell me they got someone sick. All right, let's end things off here with the Elite Fantasy Pack. I oh wait, you get two Elite Fantasy Packs right now? Oh, I'm in. I'm down for this. I am down for this. Let's see what we got. Just make me feel better here, EA. Give me, give me like something. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> this ain't good. Okay. One more Elite Fantasy Pack. I didn't know we could open two of these, so hopefully it's better than the first one. 85! There we go. 85 Bradley Chubb. Nice. Don't give me, like, multiple good ones. That's when it's like, damn. I'll take a good one here, though. 81 David Andrews. So pretty sure Bradley Chubb is the move here. Yeah, 50K card. It's a good ending. That's a great ending. Moral of the video, do not open the Pro Fantasy Packs. If you're going to spend money on this game, just buy the Elite Fantasy Packs. They're going to be way better. You're going to feel better about it. So, yeah. That was awful. Hopefully, you guys still enjoyed the video, though. If you guys did, hit that like button. It really helps me out. It really helps the video. You guys smash that like button. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. In the comments, uh... I'm interested to hear your guys' you know, polls on the Pro Fantasy Packs if you guys open this. Hopefully, you guys got some good. Hopefully, it was better than mine if you guys opened them. If not, just, again, don't open these. And, yeah, also let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I'll try to get it done for you guys. Follow me on all the socials, Twitter, Instagram, my second channel, Facebook, so stream until October. All the links are in the description down below. And, of course, check out SeaGeek, SeaGeek.com, SeaGeek app on your phone. If you're trying to buy any tickets to any sports games, use code WHEELS for $20 off. But it's going to be it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.